Hey everybody, Linus here. Today we're talking about RJ45 connectors, those ubiquitous little plugs that you see on the ends of Ethernet cables. You know, those little plastic plugs on the end of Ethernet cables? They might seem small, but they play a huge role in our daily internet usage. They're essential for wired internet connections, ensuring that data travels smoothly and efficiently between devices. RJ45 connectors allow your computer to communicate with routers, modems, and other network devices, making them a crucial component in any network setup. These connectors might look intimidating at first glance, but making your own is easier than you think. With a bit of practice, you'll be assembling them like a pro. We'll walk through each step, from stripping the cable to crimping the connector, and trust me, you got this. Whether you're setting up a home network, troubleshooting connectivity issues, or just want to learn a new tech skill, this guide will have you crimping like a pro in no time. Now let's grab our tools, get comfortable, and dive into the fascinating world of RJ45 connectors together. Before we start crimping, let's gather our gear. Having the right tools and materials on hand will make the process smoother and more efficient. Don't worry, you won't need a fancy toolkit for this. Here's what you'll need. Just a few essential items that you might already have or can easily get. RJ45 connectors. These are the plastic plugs that house the wires. Make sure they're compatible with your cable type like CAT5E, CAT6, etc. It's crucial to match the connectors with the cable to ensure a proper fit and optimal performance. Ethernet cable. Choose the right category for your network speed. CAT5E is common for home use, but if you need higher speeds, consider CAT6 or CAT6A. The category you choose will affect your network's performance. Crimping tool. This handy tool is essential for securing the connector to the cable. A good crimping tool will ensure a solid connection and prevent future issues. Wire cutters, used for trimming the cable and wires to the correct length. Precision is key here to avoid damaging the wires. Wire stripper. This tool helps you remove the outer insulation from the Ethernet cable. A clean strip will make it easier to insert the wires into the connector. Got everything? Awesome! Now let's get down to business. With all your tools and materials ready, you're set to start crimping and creating your own custom Ethernet cables. All right, time to prep our cable. First, use the wire stripper to carefully remove about an inch of the outer insulation from one end of the ethernet cable. Be careful not to nick the wires inside. Untwist the exposed wires and arrange them in the correct order. There are two main wiring standards, T568A and T568B. For most home networks, T568B is more common. The wire order for T568B is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Double check the order. Getting it right is crucial for a working connection. Section four, inserting the wires into the connector. Now carefully hold the RJ45 connector with the clip facing down and the gold contacts facing you. Gently slide the wires into the connector, making sure they stay in the correct order. Push them all the way in until the ends are flush with the front of the connector. Each wire should sit neatly in its own channel. If you find it tricky to get all the wires in at once, try using a pair of needle nose pliers to carefully guide them into place. Section five, crimping the connector. Once the wires are securely in place, it's time to crimp. Slide the connector into the crimping tool, making sure it's seated properly. Squeeze the crimping tool handles firmly to crimp the connector onto the cable. You should hear a satisfying click when it's done. This step ensures a secure connection between the wires and the connector. Don't be shy, give it a good squeeze. Section six, testing your connection. This is a crucial step to ensure that all your hard work pays off. Congratulations, you just made your own RJ45 connector. This is a significant achievement and a fundamental skill in networking. Now, let's make sure it works. Testing is essential to confirm that your connections are reliable and efficient. You can use a cable tester to check for continuity and make sure the wiring is correct. This tool helps you identify any potential issues quickly. If you don't have a cable tester, don't worry. There are other ways to verify your connection. You can simply plug the cable into your computer and network device and check if you have a working connection. 
This method is straightforward and effective. And there you have it. A successful test means your connector is functioning perfectly. You're now well on your way to becoming an RJ45 master. With each connector you make, your skills will improve. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to try making a few connectors to get the hang of it. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Happy crimping!